Hi, this is Ben Reeve from benreeve.co.uk. Uh, today, just a quick video to um, show you a bit about how to resize photos before you upload them to your blog. Um, so I've seen this question asked a couple of times recently on some forums and on some Facebook groups that I'm in. Obviously, people are quite conscious that they don't want to upload really large photos to their website because it slows the website down, makes uploading them a lot more difficult. I just wanted to show you a really simple technique for the way I do it. So obviously I'm on a Mac here, um, so the first thing I do before I start a blog post is get the photos I want to use ready. So these are some photos from a recent trip to Seychelles, so let's just say I wanted to use a couple of these. So the first thing I do is literally just drag them out of photos to the desktop. So I kind of use my desktop almost like a, a temporary folder, um, so anything that kind of goes down onto the desktop is just a temporary photo which I can just use and dispose of. So you can see after I've dragged them they kind of appear down on the desktop here. Uh, and if I go into my finder window here uh, and, and look at the photos that are on the desktop, they're there. So you can see here, these are 2048 by 1536 pixels, 3624, so they're quite big photos. So the next thing I do is highlight both of those and open them together. Now this will open them up in preview. So very, very simply what I do before I upload them to a website is go Tools, Adjust Size, and I use for landscape photos, I use 750 pixels wide. So you can see there that this has cut it down um, to 36%. So it, it was a 1.1 megabytes, it's now 182 kilobytes. Hit OK on that. And you can see that's made the photo physically smaller. Um, it's reduced the quality a little bit, but for a website this is going to be absolutely fine. Um, again, next one here. So this one here was originally 3,264, so you can see 1.7 megabytes. I'm going to reduce that down to 750. Now you might want to do it to 100 pixels, 1200 pixels, it doesn't really matter. What you're doing is reducing it in size before you upload. So I've now got those two photos ready to go. They're sitting on my desktop there. So if I open um, a post, so I've set up a post ready to go, just a bit of a test. So what I'm gonna do is just add one of these photos. So as you're all used to on the WordPress uh, dashboard here, just upload these photos. Now what you'll see is how quickly this photo now uploads. It doesn't take so long. Uh, you can see it's uploaded full size 750 by 563. Uh, I'll just put it in there as new photo, insert into post, and you can see that this will go in and it's the perfect size um, for, for a post. So I'm just going to uh, publish this post quickly um, just so you can kind of see what they look like afterwards. Uh, so I'll publish this page uh, and then I'll just go through and look at it and then and then we're done pretty much. But it's a very, very simple way to do it. Um, by dragging photos out of the actual photos application, what you're essentially doing is duplicating it. So you don't have to worry about your original photos being damaged. And then all you do at the end is just kind of go, go to the go to the desktop and then just delete the photos that are left. So very, very quickly, I'll show you the post that we've just created. Um, and you can see this photo at 750 pixels wide look absolutely perfect. Uh, it's the right size. You can play around. You might want to do it to 1,000 pixels, etc. But it gives you just a quick idea of how to do it. I hope you find that helpful. Uh, my site's benreeve.co.uk. I've got various different tips for travel bloggers and travellers, destinations, etc. So if you do get a few minutes, pop over, give me a follow, like my Facebook page. Um, but thanks for taking the time to stop in. Cheers.